Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're going to be talking about some sneak peeks that have been showing up pretty recently for the new update coming out inside of Clash Royale. So yesterday they announced the Frozen Peak, which is the new arena that's going to be unlocked at 2300 trophies. You can see some of the chess rewards right here as well as the fact that you're going to get 16 gold per win as well as 30 commons and three rares per donation request and uh, taking a look at the arena itself, it actually looks pretty sick for the first Frozen theme we've had inside of Clash Royale. And since we are getting a new arena, you guys probably guessed that we're going to be seeing some new cards inside of this update. So today, they announced two new cards coming out inside of Clash Royale. And the very first one we're going to be taking a look at is the Bowler, which you guys might remember from Clash of Clans. So the Bowler is going to be an epic card unlocked at the new Frozen Peak Arena at 2300 trophies. And as you can see, he is a six elixir card with an actually pretty substantial amount of hit points at 1729 uh, at level four. This is the tournament standard for the bowler. I used him inside of a couple of battles. He's actually pretty sick as far as his tankiness goes. I know he could take two shots from an even level P.E.K.K.A. or actually three shots from an even level P.E.K.K.A. which is insane. And he's going to throw his rock and do crazy damage to multiple targets. But next up we have the Ice Spirit. So the Ice Spirit is going to be a one elixir card to finally join the skeletons as a one elixir card inside of Clash Royale. And pretty much what the Ice Spirit does is you drop it on the ground. It's going to jump into a small group of enemies and be able to freeze them for a short period of time. So you can see here the freeze duration is two seconds and it can target both air and ground but instead of talking about the cards let's go ahead and check them out inside of a couple of battles and i'm going to show you guys how the ice spirit works first so you can see my opponent has played a P.E.K.K.A. down the lane. I'm going to go ahead and start distracting things. And right when I drop my Ice Spirit, take a look as it jumps onto the P.E.K.K.A. It's going to stun it for two seconds and let both my archers and goblins go ham on it. And give it a little bit of time to make sure my giant doesn't take any more damage. Now showing you guys the second new card coming out inside of Clash Royale. That's going to be the Bowler. Take a look as the Bowler runs over those archers. And as he throws his Boulder, he's actually going to knock troops back. So you saw the Musketeer fly back right there as I threw uh, the Boulder at him and that's going to knock down the first tower as well. The bowler is just so incredibly tanky and especially something like a skeleton army is going to get absolutely devastated if you try to get in its path. Now the boulder or the bowler does struggle against high damage units that can get up in its face. Like I said the pekka does take three shots to take it out even though it does do a crazy amount of damage uh, but as you can see the bowler is definitely a pretty solid card and let me show you guys the ice spirit as it takes on a tower. Now just like any other troop you can see the tower will freeze if the ice spirit attacks it uh, so it was able to get onto it and give my troops a little bit more damage. I feel like the Ice Spirit, Spirit is definitely going to be a pretty common card for the fact that it's so versatile at one elixir and serving as a mini free spell means it's going to be pretty devastating for the low cost of a single elixir. So again, these cards are going to unlock at 2300 trophies and if you saw the sneak peek image today, they did hint that there's going to be two new legendaries coming out inside of the game. Uh, unknown whether it's going to be inside of this arena or inside of a different arena, but that's going to be a little bit crazy, so you should expect those to see, or see some gameplay for those sometime soon on my channel. But yeah, those are the new cards. You've got the bowler, as you can see, dominating the musketeer right here. Going to throw a rock right in its face as it takes on the tower. The musketeer actually is going to have one HP before the tower gets down to 90. One more bowler will be able to finish it off, and that's going to do it for the battles inside of this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the new sneak peek coming out tomorrow. I'll definitely make sure to show you guys on my channel. Again, I've been posting on Twitter, but I'm sort of on a remote island right now, and I don't have a ton of internet access, which has been really annoying for trying to make videos. So I uploaded this video at a Taco Shack. If it actually did upload, I'm praying the Taco Shack has good enough Wi-Fis. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.